So I've been working with Payload CMS for over a year now. Um, this is our, we just got done with the NAACP Image Awards uh, website that we built for them using Payload CMS. It was launched, it was a successful launch. We had a good time. Uh, client was happy with it. Helped us get really comfortable with its integration with Next.js, which initially I was kind of eh about, but now I can definitely see why the decision was made and the benefits of it. But I never used WordPress before. I've never kind of been a quote website builder. So, you know, working with content management systems to build websites is not something that I've done in the past. I've used Strapi, I've used sales. These were all content management systems, but I really use them just more as a way to get an administrative console and a REST or GraphQL API out of the box with minimal customization for the admin console for our clients. So I, since I've started digging into payload, I decided to, you know, step back and try to learn this whole website building thing with layout, blocks, forms, kind of all of that stuff. And so I built a simple website and I, so I built a simple website. I've documented as best I could, and I'm going to put a little bit of a blog together to kind of explain it for kind of those non CMS folks or just kind of help. Sometimes writing stuff down helps me understand it better. So I figure since I'm going to write it down so I can understand it, I might as well put it out so other people can understand it. So keep a lookout on the channel. Um, it looks like it's going to be two parts because uh, it's getting longer than I want. I like to keep my videos around 30 to 45 minutes. So the first part will have the basic hero, a call to action, some forms integration. And then the second part, I'll kind of wrap it up with some of the other things that, in my opinion, are quote more advanced that I wouldn't expect to see in kind of like a starter template. So the idea here is to have a starter template that is a little bit more than just reading stuff and dumping it, but more of, uh, like I said, walking through the key components of how you build your collection and how in your collection you create a layout and how in your layout you add blocks and how you extract the blocks out for better um, application structure than how you integrate forms. So that's what I'm going for. Um, subscribe to the channel so you get the update when I drop those two videos. And I will see you there. Later. Bye.